Morning, folks. It's me, Ward on Fire. Going to talk about the internet today and why it is a dangerous tool. And I'm not talking about hackers, viruses, malware, or anything like that. I'm talking about emotion. Yesterday on YouTube and on Facebook, I witnessed a man being abused in India because he was charged with the charge of rape. This justified a mob mentality upon him, and the psychopathic loser women of the United States were all cheering at the fact that this man was being abused. So what we have here today is a very clear situation, where females in the United States are so bored and looking for justification to their own behaviors that they are now looking at the Middle East and India to justify their reasons of behavior towards the Western men. So in other words, they are so corrupt and evil, they believe that they themselves live in India and in the Middle East, that they are being oppressed while they are not even being oppressed. As a matter of fact, I think that every Western woman should spend one year in the Middle East to know what oppression really is. They are not oppressed. So what we have here now is a chain of sympathy going on for the women in India. Fifty years ago, nobody was concerned about India and the United States. You all stuck to your own lives, your own mundane lives, and that's how you lived your life. Thanks to the internet now, and worldwide exposure to every little situation, the Western women are now justifying their own behavior based on behaviors on countries outside of their own. This is once again proving what I've stated before, that females cannot wield power. You don't give them power and expect for them to use it for goodness. There is not a female politician alive today who gives a fuck about men's issues. Females are never supposed to wield power. They do not know how to use it, and they will use it for their own selfish gain and selfish pleasures. Mostly for the selfish pleasures. Why? Because they are animalistic by nature. They are even brought up to be animalistic. While boys are being taught to be chivalrous, to have respect, manners, <laughs> and basically be completely pacified by the age of age three, females are being encouraged to be the opposite. Wild, spontaneous, impulsive. Get what you can get. You know, that's how females are being taught to live. They're taught to now being taught to objectify their own bodies and use that as a form of currency in the world. They're actually using men in two ways. One is slaves, and is one also to sell their goods. You have to put a stop to this your own self, guys, because females will not. It reminds me of the movie The Lord of the Rings, when Frodo walks up to the Nelf Queen, and he's about ready to hand her the ring, and she says to him, You would hand me this power? You would just freely give this to me? And he looks at her like, Uh, yeah, why not? You're the, you're the queen of the elves. If anybody can control this power, it should be you. Take the ring. And as soon as he offers it to her, she becomes this nasty demon and goes, Ah! in his face, you know, and it scares the crap out of him, and he decides not to give her the ring. And she looks at him later on and says, I'm sorry, I have no, I had no power over the ring. I could not control it. I could not even control myself. This is very accurate with women today. They have no business whatsoever wielding power. And why would you give a child power for anyways? And I know many women can be upset by me saying that they are children, but I am sorry, you are children. You are educated to be children, you are raised to be children, and now you are acting like narcissistic, entitled little brats. I, yesterday I was reading a post on Facebook, and in this post there was a woman who was living off of benefits, and she decided that she wanted to have a $15,000 wedding, and she wanted to charge the government for this wedding, because she herself was living off of benefits, and she considered it to be a human right. This is where the world is going to. I have made videos already three years ago, and posted them three years ago that I was talking about today. I've made videos talking about how women would, would, in a massive amount, start killing their children. No, you guys don't even listen to what I say, do you? I've made videos that prophesied three years ago that this was going to happen, because it is all a chain of events that lead to one goal. I know the goal, so I can easily see the steps that are going to be needed to reach the goal. I tried to warn you of the goal. Watch my video, The Obama Legacy. 
and see how accurate I was back then compared to today. It'll shock the fuck out of you. I was talking about FEMA camps before you all even knew about it. Just because this channel is only 3-4 years old does not mean that I have not been out here earlier. I used to be a part of Anonymous. I even helped them make some videos. Okay, I know where I'm coming from. Just because I am Wardom's Fire today does not mean that I have not been around forever. I've been telling you guys this stuff for ages. It is time that you learn to listen. The world is heading down to one direction, which is exactly, to the T, identical to a book that was written a long time ago called the Bible. Whether you believe in the Bible or not is completely irrelevant. It doesn't fucking matter you, because as long as your government believes in the Bible, and your elite believe in the Bible, then they will be taking steps to push the world towards biblical events. And that's exactly what we are seeing today. As a matter of fact, your Illuminati, as you call it, means the enlightened ones. What do the enlightened ones do? They desensitize the public. They desensitize you to violence, murder, rape, to a point where you almost find it to be acceptable. And as right now, the United States is trying to push pedophilia. They are trying to make it slowly to happen. And if you do not believe me, homosexuality used to be what we consider today pedophilia. It was completely outlawed, completely banned. But they started bringing it in through the television. They started making everybody desensitized to it. Then they flipped it and said that you're a racist if you are a homophobe. Or you're a racist if you're against homo homosexuals. Or that you are afraid if you are against homosexuals. This is how they twisted it on you. So I made videos about this as well. That in the 40s and 50s, homosexuality was a sin and disgusting. And in the last 50 years, they've completely desensitized your ass to it. And you have all now accepted it. Pedophilia is next. This said, I'm Wardo's Fire. Have a good day, all. See you later. Bye.